this, go. They always know me, I just don't want to fix the dip. <laughs> And the driver's like, all right, when you've got family coming over to eat and you have not used the Blackstone in a couple of days, this happens in Florida. And we're going to turn this back around here in about 15 minutes. First thing you're going to want to do is turn your grill on, turn it on high. Okay, so we ended up doing like a 15 minute burn. And what you're going to want to do next is just take a scraper. Don't use any water. Just do it dry. Any of this rust, any of this material. Got the grill shut off right now. All right, we've got all the rust scraped off. The next part is going to be just use regular vegetables. We've scraped off all the rust. We're just going to dump some vegetable oil on there. Take 120 grit sandpaper here. Down. Now what we're going to do is just take our paper towels, clean that up, putting food on here so you want it nice and clean, you don't want any foreign objects or substances, you want all that rust out of here as well, towels because once you pick something up you just toss it, wipe all this down and then we'll reapply oil probably two more times until everything's cleaned up and and wiped every, all the rust residue. And I think we're there. And then what I like to do, the first cook on after doing something like this. Kind of season. I like to put some bacon on there. So we're going to start with bacon, and then we're going to make some smash burgers. All right. We're ready to cook. Good luck, and I hope this helped everybody. Some dip. It was no beer. It's just a whole bunch of chicken dip. <laughs> vodka or? No, I normally just do like vodka soda. Oh, okay. And I added a little bit of energy to it.